Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. You are tuned in to Big Mike Blog. I am your humble host, Big Mike, coming to you from my home. Welcome. Hope everyone's doing good out there. Um, I'm doing wonderful. Uh, just got off the phone with some friends. Um, I actually have, um, I'm going to be doing a vlog probably in the next few weeks. Um, I actually did purchase some sneakers, some new sneakers. So uh, I'm going to do like a midway point of my sneaker purchases uh, because I do have some heat that I did order. So I'm going to show that to y'all as well. Um, and finally, the other thing is I'm going to post um, the podcast that me and my friend did on this particular vlog here and on my channel as well. So if you guys want to check out that vlog I did with my friend Sana a few like a month ago, feel free to con uh, check it out. Um, it's on her website. So I'll put the link in the website and all that jazz as well. So, um, and like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already, because that's very important too, for the channel grow and all that jazz. Mm. So, this lovely vlog I'm doing for y'all today is on a topic that is discussed, kinda, but very few people have discussed it, or want to discuss it, or just have a simple generic view about it. But I'm going to try to maybe go a little bit in depth and try to get maybe different views and perspectives on it. Okay? So this particular vlog I'm going to do today for y'all is on ghosting. Crickets. <laughs> no, so ghosting. So what is ghosting? Right? What constitutes ghosting? Is there, is ghosting good? Is it bad? Do you have a right to ghost? Is there a timeline and a rule to ghosting? All these things I'm going to try to discuss as well. I don't think by the end of this vlog I'm going to come up with a solution to ghosting. I don't think that's that's not kind of the purpose of this particular vlog. It's just to give a different viewpoint and perspective. And listen, if you guys want to comment or curse me out for the shit that I say in this vlog, which I, might, I don't think I'm going to say anything crazy, but if I do say something you don't like, you can let me know. But um, I just want to kind of give a different take on it and give a different perspective on it because it's some, the reason why I'm doing this, I decided to do it, is for a couple of reasons. Number one, I think it's a different topic that no one's really discussed. And number two, let me I'm going to be real. A lot of times when I've talked to girls in the past, you know, when, this conversa when the conversation of ghosting has come up, they have always told me, oh, I would never ghost and ghosting is lame and I think people that ghost suck and da 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 and I would never do that and if I didn't like a guy, I would tell him and blah 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 and then they proceed to ghost me particularly <laughs> or whatever the case may be um so that happened so i just want to give my perspective on it that's it and just my take on it and go from there and hopefully this will generate a dialogue for you lovely people to discuss and all that jazz and we'll go from there so um so basically kind of the first thing before i kind of get into the nitty-gritty of ghosting because i did try to do this vlog last week but uh didn't really like it and uh I think I um, there was stuff I missed that I wanted to kind of highlight as well. And the one thing that I missed that I should have probably said in the beginning is what ghosting actually is defined as. So now we know what it's actually defined as, according to Google. And Google is pretty much the Bible, so go off of Google. So Google has two definitions. First one is not really applicable to this topic. The second one is. So I'll read the second one. So ghosting is the practice of ending a personal relationship with someone by suddenly and without explanation withdrawing from all communication. So the sentence they use is, I thought ghosting was a horrible dating habit reserved for casual flings. Okay, so there you go. So now you know the definition of ghosting. So, um, yeah, so that's basically the definition. So I guess my take on it is... I have ghosted people. I will admit that I've done it in the past. And that's another reason why I want to do this vlog too. Because I don't want to sit here and act like I've never ghosted anyone. And that's like so wrong. I've actually ghosted people before. I can honestly say that I have. And I have been ghosted numerous times. So um, I think I can give perspective on both sides and all that jazz. So I would say my first quote unquote foray into being ghosted kind of was about seven years ago so this is the kind of when i first left my ex-wife and i was kind of venturing slowly into dating but it was just more like just talking to girls and seeing where that went so there was one girl i was talking to and me and her really hit it off 
and we're talking for about a good, I would say, four or five months consistently. Like, not every day, but I would say at least two or three times a week we would talk. So, I would say towards November, um, she had kind of went AWOL. Like, November 2013, she had kind of went AWOL for a bit, for like three weeks. Cause I would t- and I was messaging her on BBM, and for those of you who knew BlackBerry Messenger, um, so this is the date how long ago this was. Uh, obviously, with BlackBerry Messenger, if you were on BlackBerry Messenger, you know, like if you message someone, and they, you can know, you'll know if they read the message or not because it will show you if they read the message or not. And obviously, WhatsApp does it, and then if you have iMessage, they does that too. Any messaging, they usually will let you know if someone's seen your message. So. My first foray into for foray into this, like me and her were talking, she hadn't responded in like three weeks, and I had sent her maybe like five messages over the, a span of three weeks. So finally, I said after the third week, like the fifth time, I said, you know, I think it's kind of rude that you've read my messages and you haven't replied to anything. I've said, so she replied back later that day, and she's like, you know, Mike, I'm really sorry. I've just been really going through a lot of things right now. You know, I've just been stressed out with friends and family and work stuff. And I just haven't had a chance to really talk to people. And also sometimes I get anxiety sometimes texting people all the time. So sometimes I kind of distance myself. But it's not personal. It's nothing that you did. I just need that space. So when she said that to me, I was good. I said, you know what? <clears throat> no worries. I leave. I left it alone. And I didn't hound her about it again. Didn't bother about it again. I left her alone. So that happened. Um, and then I had a similar situation a few months after that. And it was the same thing. And I said... Don't worry about it. Um, Because I'm not the type of person that's going to bug out over texting people. Like, I'm not that type of person. I think women sometimes get that assumption that I am like that. In part because I try to be... I try to be good with texting people back. Sometimes I'm not good with that sometimes. And there's some moments where, to be frank with you and to be honest as well, that I don't text people often. And the reason being is because, particularly last year... I found that girls would get weird about me texting them back right away. Like if let's say I texted a girl today, um, let's say she texts me back on, she texts me back or replies to me on Saturday and I text her back on Sat like right away, she like would freak out and act all weird. And it was like a common thing. It wasn't just one girl. This was like three or four girls that were like, oh my God, you're really good at responding. It's kind of, you know, so I kind of just say, you know what, I'm just going to kind of take a break. So For me personally, and this is just to be honest, like there's some times where I will literally turn off my phone, turn off my tablet, and will not talk to anyone for like a full day. And I just kind of leave, and I kind of do that. So it's not that I'm ghosting. I just need a break from people sometimes. But I say that on this because I've told people this and they think I'm weird and they don't, and they don't believe me, think I'm full of shit or whatever the case may be. So I'm just putting it out there that I will sometimes retreat from people as well because as much as I'm an extrovert introvert split, I do need my own my I need my time to recharge. I can't be around people and talk to people all the time. Because otherwise I get drained. So when I do feel drained, I do kind of re- regress as well. So when they did that, I kind of understood it now. At the time, uh, six, seven years ago, I didn't understand it because I was like, what the fuck? So it was just something that I had to learn over time. And again, I'm very people are busy like we're all older now so it's not like we're well now we're staying in our homes and not doing shit but you know when like like five years ago i was working three jobs you know some days some days i was working all three jobs in one day and if i wasn't working i was working out and if i wasn't working out i was at home working i'm going to sleep you know what i'm saying so i was trying to juggle all that and it was a lot to juggle so i wasn't always texting people all the time sometimes i would but there were some moments where I wasn't. So, and in turn, those relate really, those fizzled out. And also, too, it's not just also ghosting because it's so. The question I'm going to pose to you is two questions. Number one, do do you consider, let's say, you're talking to someone for let's say two weeks, right? And then let's say for whatever reason the conversation fizzles out, like you guys just stop texting. Is that considered ghosting, or is that just the conversation fizzled out? Um. And also, too, what's the timeline? Like, let's say if you've been talking to someone for two weeks, and let's say you don't feel that it's going anywhere, do you feel at that point you have the right to, let's say, go someone and tell them to fuck off? Or or go someone like go someone and not text them at all and tell them anything? Or do you feel the need to tell them, let them know that, hey, this isn't working out, bye? 
You know what I'm saying? Like, what is, should, do you feel like you, you owe that person that at two weeks or three weeks or four weeks or you don't? Um, so that's why I'm posing these questions, people, because who knows? Because there's different perspectives on it. There's different answers, right? And, you know, sometimes I could say, if, if let's say you've been talking to someone for a while and the conversation fizzles out, the conversation fizzles out. You know, that's not an indictment on you or that person. It's just sometimes the conversation fizzles out. That's happened to me a bunch of times. And that's not an indictment on the pe- person. Sometimes some people just get busy and life happens and they're not, you know, readily available to text. Like, I can say, well, for me, what I would constitute, let's say, ghosting someone, let's say, hypothetically, is if we've made plans to meet up and then you disappear. That, to me, I would consider kind of ghosting or you know like i'll give you an example so this was about five years ago um i was talking to someone uh, i met this girl through okay cupid and uh, me and her were talking and we talked for about a good week or so um on the app exchange numbers and uh so this the following week i guess the sa- the saturday no the sunday sorry we had talked and she said hey would you like to meet up for drinks sometime I said, sure. Uh, I told her, well, listen, I work weekends overnights, but I'm free like on Wednesday night if you want to go out for drinks. She's like, oh, sure. Let's meet up on Wednesday. So I said, okay, what time works for you? She said, probably let's say eight or nine. I said, okay, no problem. So we made those plans. Everything was set. Or we just said we're going to meet up for drinks. We didn't actually set. We said the day, the time, just not the place. So kind of how I do things when it comes to meeting up with people is usually the day before or the morning of i usually will send a filler text out a feeler text out just to see if we're still meeting up because obviously the day could change shit could happen you know i just want to make sure you know if we're still meeting up cool if if something comes up and you can't make it then that's fine too there's no harm no foul um so i i texted her the day before just to see how she was doing no reply no big deal so text her in the morning say hey Hope everything's good. Hope we're still on for later. Da, da, da. No response. So I was like, okay. Um, so I texted her around 12 o'clock. Nothing. And at that point, didn't hear from her at all, ever again. So I was like, okay, maybe she forgot. Did she, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, you know, so that happened. Um, so I was a little bit bothered about that, obviously, because I, you know, thought we made plans, but, you know, that happened. So, um, so that would say that was an example. I felt like she kind of ghosted me in that sense. But um, I can give another example actually recently, like last year, where it was kind of a different situation, depending on how you look at it. So there was a girl I met on Hinge, and this girl, me and her had talked actually the day after I came back from New Orleans. So I came back from New Orleans in Nashville on the Sunday. The Monday, me and her matched. The whole day we were talking, really hit it off, had really, really, really good conversation. You know, she's into college football, which I'm into. And she was like, we should go to a game. I was like, oh, shit. Like, I really want to go to Michigan Wolverines game. So we had kind of talked about making plans to go see a Michigan Wolverines game. So this was the Monday. So I texted her the Tuesday. And I said, joking, like, in the midst of us planning for us to go to this Michigan Wolverines game, we didn't really make plans to actually meet up in person to see if we're a good fit before we go to this fucking game together. So she's like, oh, yeah, you're right. We should probably do that. So I was like, okay, cool. So she asked me what they are usually free. And I said, well, I'm free on Friday if you if you are. She's like, no, I have plans on Friday. Can we meet Sunday? I said, sure, no problem. What time Sunday works for you? She's like, seven. I said, seven is perfect. So made plans for seven, whatever. Um, so then the Wednesday hit, and I was thinking, oh, shit. I, we didn't set, um, we didn't say, I didn't ask her where we're up. <laughs> So I hit her up again. I said, hey, uh, where do you want to meet up at? Because I don't, you know, I don't really, doesn't really matter to me what what, what place works for you. And she said, oh, I already made the reservations. It's at this restaurant at seven o'clock. I was like, oh, perfect. Don't remember the name of the restaurant because that was like in August. I don't, I can barely remember, remember I can barely remember what happened like last month. So, um, <laughs> so we basically made those plans. Everything was cool. Sunday came, hit her up, said, hey, are we still on for later? Like at eight o'clock, I hit her up. She hit me up, hit me right back. Said, "Yeah, we're still on. Everything's good, perfect." So I took a nap because <laughs> I was tired. I woke up around I say one two o'clock ish. She hit me up like, "Hey, um, my mom, I have to take my mom to the ER because something's wrong, and I have to take her to the ER. No one can take her." I said, "Holy shit, okay, take your mom to the ER." 
Um, you know, we can meet up another time. No worries. Don't worry about it. She's like, okay, cool. No worries. Thank you. So sorry. I'm like, nah, don't worry about it. That's more obviously your mom is more important than meeting up with me on a fucking dinner date. So I texted her a little bit throughout that day just to see how she was doing. And um, she said, yeah, the, the hospital sucked, da, 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 whatever. So then, to make a long story short, after that day, I didn't hear from her again. I had texted her, like, the next day, a few days after, a week after, two weeks after, even a month, a couple months afterwards, no response. So, to some people, they could have seen that and taken that as, oh, she fucking ghosted you, bro. Like, she's fucking bitch, and da, 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 da. Or, but I kind of looked at it as, I don't know what happened, you know, maybe something really happened with her mom. And at that point, she's not in the right headspace, or not, nor does she want to meet up with me. And at that point, I would totally understand that, and I would be very sympathetic towards that. I wouldn't sit there and cuss her out and say, yo, bitch, what the fuck, you don't want to fucking talk to me now? Like, I'm not going to do that at that point. So, there's, lo there's layers, right? And it's not as simple as that. Because a lot of times, you know, there's one girl, we were talking for a bit last year. And then for about a good week and change, and then she kind of just basically stopped talking to me. But she had messaged me a few months later, a few months ago, saying, you know, Mike, I'm really sorry. You know, I just had some family stuff going on, and I just needed to deal with that. And I said, deal with that. You know what I'm saying? So, and, uh, you know, she was like, I'm, you know. So I, I took it that way. I didn't get upset or offended and stuff like that. So, um, so I guess, yeah. So I'm telling you the girls that kind of maybe or maybe not ghosted me. But then I'll tell you where I ghosted someone as well. So um, I will admit that I did ghost this person. So um, this girl I was talking to for about like six years ago, me and her were talking. Um, and to be quite frank with you, I'll be honest, keep 100. Um, we didn't really click. Didn't really click. We talked for about a good three, four months. She's a really nice girl. Don't. It's not that she was mean or anything. It's just we just did not really vibe. Um, so... It kind of got to a point where I was like, yeah, I don't know if this is going to work. And then kind of the last straw was uh, she had texted me one night and she was in Vegas. And uh, she was like, so I was like, hey, how's, how are you doing? And she's like, oh, I'm in Vegas right now with my mom, my mom and my brother. I'm like, oh, that's dope. Like, you know, because I've heard Vegas is like the shit. So, and I'm like, yo, so how's Vegas? And da, 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 da. And she's like, oh, I'm bored as hell. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what? And she's like, yeah, I'm bored. There's nothing to do here. And I was just thinking to myself, looking at the text, I'm like, you're in fucking Las Vegas. Like, even if you don't gamble, there is the strip. There's like a billion things to do in Vegas. Like, my mom and my sister went to Vegas and they had fun. Any person that I've talked to that has gone to Vegas has had fun. So I was just like, oh, I'm like, this may not work. So I just was thinking to myself, yeah, this is going to work. So I did ghost her because she did message me a few times after and I didn't reply. So I will admit... I did ghost her. And this was in fairness six years ago. I really haven't done that since with any other girl. So that was my one time that I did. I will admit that I did ghost someone. So I can't sit here and act like I'm above ghosting people because I've done it. Um, so, and would I do it again? Probably not. I didn't want to hurt her feelings. So that's why I didn't say anything. But now I probably would just tell her, listen, you know, you're a cool girl, but I don't think this is going to work. So <laughs> I probably did that. But again, that's just kind of my viewpoint. And I mean, the way I view ghosting is a little bit different. I don't take it personally for me. Um, it's something that Gary Vee said, this uh, motivational speaker. I'm sure you've heard of him. Um, and I don't agree with everything he always says, but he had been asked this question about ghosting a few months ago. And he basically said that, you know, ghosting to him is like more an indictment on the person who's doing the ghosting rather than the person who is being ghosted. Like, maybe for that person who's doing the ghosting, if they're not comfortable enough in their own skin and they're not in the, the best headspace, and that's not an indictment on you, the individual. You know, so you shouldn't take it personally or be so offended that someone doesn't want to talk to you. Fuck them. You know, and that's kind of my approach. Um, you know, I don't really try to worry about people that don't want to talk to me or I got to fight to talk to them and they're not really interested. I'd rather focus my energy on the people that I'm interested in that want to talk to me that I actually want to talk to as opposed to trying to force someone to talk to me who's not really interested because that's going to happen you know as much as I as much as everyone loves to think that they're awesome and special and amazing and everyone's going to like them the reality is is not everyone's going to like you not everyone you're going to someone that you will vibe with isn't going to always vibe with you 
and someone might vibe with you that you don't necessarily vibe with. That's just the way it works. And you got to be able to reconcile that. And I've been able to reconcile that myself personally. And it's, and it is what it is. It doesn't really bother me too much anymore. I just kind of look at it as if they don't want to talk to me, that's fine. Because I don't want anyone to feel forced to talk to me. So if you don't want to talk to me and you feel like it's better to just fade to black and not talk to me, then so be it. If you want to talk to me or if you let me know, like, for example, I had a girl a few weeks ago, me and her talked like twice. And uh, she actually messaged me, I think two days ago saying, hey, you know, I met a guy and, you know, he's really awesome. And I want to see where things go. I said, go for it, girl. That's good. Like, I was happy for her. I said, that's good. And I honestly was happy for her because, listen, you're on a dating app. That's what you're supposed to fucking do. You know, like I had one girl, like in August when I came back from New Orleans, me and her been talk, we're talking for like a few months. And she kind of, she felt like she ghosted me, even though she really didn't. She just met someone else. <laughs> and, you know, she felt bad because she was like, you know, you're a cool guy, Michael, but I met this other guy and I really want to see where things go. And I'm like, well, then go, then see where it goes. Like, that's what you're, that's what a dating app is for. And like I said this before to, on a, I don't, I think I said this on another um, vlog and even, you know, people will disagree and agree. Like, I'm not naive enough to think that I'm the only guy that women talk to on dating apps. Because last I checked, I'm not the only guy on these dating apps. So if you meet another guy and you pers want to pursue that, then pursue it. That's what you should do. So I, I, my ego is not that fragile that if a girl says, oh, I met someone else, I'm like, yo, fuck you, you fucking bitch. Da, 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 da. Like, I'm not going to flip out. It's not that serious to me. So, um, yeah, I said, I wish her all the best. And me and her talk from periodically from time to time, we're still cool. Like, there's no beef. I don't hate her for that. She didn't leave me on. She just met someone else. So it depends, I think. And in some cases, that might happen when you go to someone because in the midst of dating, you might meet someone and you click with that person and that's the only person you want to talk to. And maybe this other person you were talking to for a bit, you, you know, you're not really want to talk to them anymore. And you just really vibe with this person. You want to pursue that. So... And at that point, are you wrong for that? Or, you know, do you owe that person to tell them that? Or are you just like, you know, so there's so many layers to it. So that's why um, my advice to people is try not to take the shit personally. Okay. Just take, don't take it personally. You know, because you, again, you will find that person. It just, sometimes it might take a little bit longer than in some cases. That's it. Okay. So on that note, I'm signing off. This is ran a little bit longer than I expected. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, hope everyone's doing well out there during the midst of all this. Uh, stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay in your homes. And uh, I'll do another vlog shortly. But take care. I'm out.